learn about the off-grid lifestyle and to be inspired to live your dreams, click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Hit the bell notification. So Carolyn and I had a discussion this morning about how much firewood we have and do we have enough to at least get us started for the winter. We've been working really hard with this extreme heat that we're having to get enough wood to get us started. This morning, I was pulling logs up. Look at these logs. I was pulling them up with my wagon. So we got probably, oh, I don't know, three and a half cords done. This fall, when things cool off a bit, and then I'm gonna go back down in the woods and I'll start cutting again. Carolyn and I was talking this morning, and right now we think it's just getting too dangerous, too hot. I'm coming up just pouring up sweat. We're drinking water faster than we put it through the Berkey. We thought maybe it's time to just wrap it up for the summer and start again in the fall. But that means that I need to start wrapping up everything so my equipment is ready to go in the fall. So today I'm gonna clean up the chainsaw and get it ready to store so I can just start it up in the fall and be ready to go. So this is the chainsaw that I showed you the other day on my video of the review of this chainsaw. It's the Ryobi, it's the cheapest one that you can buy at Home Depot. The first thing you want to do before you put your chainsaw away is you want to open up the gas ca cap here and you want to dump all the gas out of it. Once you dump all the gas out of it, then you're going to start your chainsaw up and you're going to run it full throttle until it runs out of gas. And then you're going to try to start it again and start it again until it doesn't start anymore. That way, the gas doesn't go bad inside the carburetor and deteriorate all the O-rings and seals and gaskets in the carburetor. Once those gaskets go bad, the carburetor's shot. You'll have to either have it rebuilt or you'll have to buy a new carburetor. Primarily, what you're going to do once that is done, you're just going to clean up the chainsaw. As you can see here, there's just all kinds of gook and different things that all that has to be cleaned out. And I'll explain why here in a minute. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the air filter. You have to clean the air filter regularly on this. This one is real simple to, to do. You just pop that open. This cover comes off. There's the air filter. It's There's a little cover for the air filter. And you have this foam air filter. Now, before you do anything, put the cover back on because now you have an exposed carburetor. If any dirt gets down into that, you will have carburetor issues. So just cover it up. So it's a washable air filter. You just put it in the water, get some dishwashing detergent, scrub that in, and then just rinse it. And that's all there is to cleaning the air filter. So you're gonna get yourself some bar oil. Now, if you don't know, chainsaw require that you put bar oil right here and what happens is there's a pump in the chainsaw that pumps oil from here to the bar while it's running. It keeps it lubricated so it doesn't overheat and, and wear out your bar. So I was telling you earlier that here you got to keep all this clean up underneath here. The reason is, is because there is a port here that oil comes out of. So you, that gets clogged up with a bunch of uh, dirt. And then you're just going to dab a little bit of oil on it because oil will help capture the dirt just rub that in and so now that that, that oil will get sticky and capture the dirt better so it holds it in place so it doesn't go into your carburetor replace the filter okay the next step is, is we're just going to clean everything that we can clean here. So we're gonna remove this cover. This is a clutch slash brake cover. This here is your, your brake. Anytime the chainsaw whips up on you, this thing will click. And that stops the blade from turning instantly. All you gotta do is push it back to re-engage it and now the blade will turn. I gotta be careful, I don't wanna cut my hand like that, but if I, now it won't turn, see? My chainsaw came with a little tool. It's a multi-tool. It's got a screwdriver. It's got a wrench for these two bolts here. And then this side is used for, for the spark plug, which, again, is right next to that air filter right here. So you just pop that spark plug wire off of it, and you, take, you can replace the spark plug. So let's go ahead and remove the 
clutch cover. When you loosen this, you can also tighten the chain. So you loosen these two nuts, and if you need to tighten the chain, you can do it right here. You just There's a screw right here, and you tighten it. Now, the screwdriver is also used so you can adjo adjust the oil pump flow. And your oil pump flow is right here underneath. You, you want the tank of oil to run out about the same time that you run out of gasoline. The other thing you can adjust is you can adjust the throttle a little right here. The only time you ever want to adjust the throttle is when it's sitting on idle and you're not, and you're not touching it and the blade is spin, spinning. You don't want the blade to spin while it's idling. So you can turn that down so the blade will stop spinning. Once you have the, the clutch cover off, you're going to see how dirty it got under here. All, see all this sawdust? What happens is that oil that the, the chainsaw is providing to the chain gets in here and it gets all sticky. And you got to clean that up because if you don't, right here is where the oil comes out of. Right out of this port right here. And it spreads around. Well, that gets clogged up. So you remove the chain like that remove the bar and so right here you will see the oil comes through this so out through here and through this hole well again see how much crud is around here so what I have here is a pan of gasoline and I understand that folks are gonna say no you should use carburetor cleaner and that's fine if you want to use carburetor cleaner. My grandpa taught me to use gasoline. He was a smart guy, so I'm just going to do what he told me to do. So just go around cleaning everything off. Just scrub it out. Also, there's another cover right here I forgot to take off. You should take this off too. It's just a simple screw. And that gives you more access into it. Alright, once you get the clutch assembly area cleaned up real good and the, the oil port cleaned up then you want to transfer over to the bar all right and then you want to take care of the clutch cover this is the brake right here and so when you engage the brake it closes up around the clutch right here and so if that gets dirty it may slip when you have the brake engaged so you want to keep that clean as well now it, when you put this back on you're going to want to make sure that your your brake is off because you won't be able to get it back on so you want that to move freely all right so now all we have to do is reassemble it when you put the chain on make sure that you put it on going the right direction you want the blade to face this way on the top face this way on the bottom okay before you tighten these two nuts up completely tight you're going to want to make sure that your chain is is tight so you want it to be able to snap back. I think this is just a little bit loose, so I'm just going to take the tightening adjustment screw, tighten it a little bit there, maybe a little more. And then just tighten your two nuts up secure. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to sharpen your blade. After each tank of gas, I touch up the blade. So I don't really need to sharpen it. But the idea is, is you use this little file and it has a guide plate. And you just put it right into the tooth. And here you'll see that it has little guide marks. I don't know how well you can see that. But it's a 30 degree angle. And so you just follow the guide mark right on the file like that and you do it each tooth four times now I'm not trying to sharpen it because it's already sharpened but the thing is is you got to do both sides you're going to turn the chainsaw around and you do the other side also 
for expert advice to sharpen your chainsaw, you should go look at people who are professionals on YouTube on how to do this. I'm not a professional, so I'm not going to give you a lot of guidance on it. But you, you want to do each side evenly. So if you do four strokes on this side, you want to do four strokes on this side also. And then finally, you're going to want to pour a little bit of bar oil on the bar itself. Since we've just cleaned everything, all the oil that, has, that was on there has been removed. So we want to make sure that this doesn't rust while sitting out in storage. So I just take a little bar oil and pour on. Learn this trick from my other grandpa. And then you just wipe it down using my glove here. So living off grid, it's important that your equipment runs when you need it to run. I mean, no different than you got a job and you need your vehicle to run every morning when you go to work. So now we've uh, taken an extra step to make sure that next fall, when it's time to start cutting again, we're ready to go. Hope I inspired you to take a look at your equipment, make sure that it's all ready to store for the season that is appropriate. Thanks for watching.